Hey everyone, this is Norm from the AR subreddit and I'm here in Shenzhen, China to go to CIOE today and we're here to take a look at the newest products for augmented reality, virtual reality components like micro displays, waveguides, prism optics, OEM, ODM companies. I was here last year. It's huge. I can only show you very quickly. Already met a friend here yeah. from Gulton. We are the AR and AI solution supplier since 2017. Nice to see you. Here is the AR VR sub expo and also the display technology expo where a lot of display companies are. Oh, get preferential treatment with my media badge here. Don't have to scan anything. Also, the media badge doesn't have my name, so nobody knows who I am. Just how I like it. But you know who I am. I'm Norm from the AR subreddit. We hit the booth of Gansen. They are known for AI-based eye tracking. Hi, uh, I'm Xiao Yijian. I'm the CEO of Gansen Technology. Aura 2 is the uh, most tiny eye tracking module on the market. It's my wall-facing camera. And uh, the blue circle is my gaze point. I'm looking at you. Yeah, I'm looking at the other people yeah. here. And then you can trigger your AI. For example, uh, how much is it? And we'll see. This is a glass with the display, hmm. with the waveguide display. Yeah. And you can see we can integrate eye tracking inside the nose pad. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. When do you expect that we? get smart glasses, AI glasses, with this solution? Uh, we believe this, uh, it should be next year, 2026. Yeah. And a few of our customers will do mass production and uh, go to the market next year. That's uh, very busy, so many customers come to us. Yeah. And they, most of them heard us. And some of them, this is the first time to see us, and they feel exciting that uh, actually it can be so small, so easy to integrate. Yeah. Yeah, and we hope that we can cover with them in the near future. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> so thanks for the interview. Thank, thank you. And what do we have there? Look, it's the SmartXY booth. Oh, hey, we're at the booth of SmartXY. Wanda. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. This is Wanda from SmartXY. Right now, we're on the CIE booth. I want to introduce our two new models. This is the first one, very lightweight, only 28 grams uh, with the wave guide. Uh, this one is on another center model, K900, uh, camera glasses. So you're working with everyone who wants to make AI glasses yeah, without correct. display exactly. and with display, right? Yeah, correct. So you can do everything. Yeah. So what is like the smallest size project? Not uh, we have also uh, provide both the CNC function prototype to the mass production. Mm. Only even if you have only some idea, like just like a sample design, we can also talk together and sit down and discuss more about how the product will look like yeah. and how to build the product together. As we all, uh, we have all of our engineers from ID, AMD, and the uh, PCB design, uh, firmware system, operating system, so everything we can build for you together. This is not your first time at CIOE, right? Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. been here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what can you tell us about this expo? Uh, uh, actually, well, because we, we are the vice president of the Shenzhen ER Association, so we are professional of this kind of ER areas. areas. So you know, just feel free to contact us. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. To use our open platform with their ID um, and sell to their market, um, but we're never going to. No one's ever going to like come and just give us a bunch of specs and then. We may Hey, so you have one of the most popular booths here, probably. Yeah, we saw a lot of a lot of companies in China. They're building yeah. great smart glasses. Yeah, but then they their only focus is like the hardware, and then their software is kind of limited in the features. Mm. And, and so, so what we're trying to build is this open system for smart glasses, so that we can support multiple different pairs of glasses. Yeah, and then we have an SDK for developers, so they can they can build one app and then it runs on all these smart glasses that we support. Yeah, and we're here with Caden. The CEO of Metro. Hey, hey.
We are making the operating system for smart glasses so that multiple apps can run at the same time. We don't see Android XR as solving all of those issues like shared context, multiple different apps running at the same time. Um, and also cross compatibility. You know, we make it so that you write one app and it runs on any pair of glasses. One thing that we see with like glasses like the Meta Ray-Ban is even though a lot of consumers buy them, they end up in the drawer or in someone's backpack. I know dozens of people who own them. I'm not necessarily banking on that being the, the, the generational personal computer shift. I really think that the display is, is super critical. And when it comes to lower cost, we're seeing the cost of components drop, right? There's, there's some new technologies coming out that you're, you're checking out here. CIOE is tomorrow, um, you know, the most advanced optic show in the world uh, in Shenzhen. The stuff, is, the stuff is dropping down really low. Uh, the weight is going down, the power is going down, and the power of a display is, is unparalleled. Captions, translation, proactive AI, all these things really do need a display. If your AI is filling in the gaps and giving you an insight, it can't be talking to you in your ears while someone else is talking. You really need something that you can glance at. Uh, we've tried it to do it with audio, it just doesn't really work very well. Um, so we're pretty convinced the display is critical. My name is Ed, I'm the CEO and founder of Avagat. It's my first time at CIOE. Um, we go to a lot of other optic shows, like yeah. Photonics West, and CIOE is like at the next level. It's easily two, three times the size of any other optic show that I've been to. And we're here looking for great AR partners in the hardware space, the manufacturing space, and in the software space, like companies like Metro. We've been very focused on the core display technologies, mm. supplying the most advanced uh, AR displays for uh, for AI glasses and, and wearables. Uh, you know, this year and next year is really going to be the beginning of something really amazing. Uh, what is this? Nika Optics? Heard a lot about them. Maybe I should try to go there. Here's a big booth, micro LED function. I've already visited the offices of Hongxi. I am Liu Yi from Hongxi. We are focused on micro LED, micro display chip. And uh, currently we have the mono green micro LED uh, panel in mass production. And uh, we just uh, released our RGB color light and green. So what do we have here? What's the resolution of this? Uh, six, 640 by 480. Oh. And uh, the, the brightness is 2.5 million nits. Wow. And uh, the volume is 0 0.35 cc. Yeah. So this is like three individual panels? Uh, three individual panels combined together through optical components. Yeah. The red color, we achieved uh, two million needs. It's a record. So how do you see the market evolving in the next two years? Next year. Firstly, should be the, the color, the AR glass with uh, uh, RGB color light engine in mass production. And, uh, but the monogreen is still uh, the market increased rapidly. Yeah. Like because uh, for, for the specific function, like a translation. So when do you think we will see the monolithic RGB? Uh, 2027 or mm. 2028. We think the next product should be the smaller, such as uh, 0.1 inch or 0.08 inch and the resolution may be a little higher, like uh, 840 by uh, 800 by 600. Is it your first time at COEW? Uh, last year is our mm. first time to attend. Mm. Uh, we will attend every year. Many partners, uh, they, they, they also show they are interested. Yeah, so everyone is here, right? Yes. So I've already met uh, Sam from Musix yesterday. Mm. They're in a hotel close by, and they're also talking to um, projector companies here, right? Mm -hmm. My name is Shenfang Chen. I go by Sam. I'm from Musix. And then, as you can see, we make smart glass products. The first one, this one you're looking at, we call it Z100. 
it's available. You can just buy it tomorrow. It's production ready. The most exciting is this piece of wave guys. Everything is made in Rochester, New York. The wave guide, the piece of wave guide on top of it, we can design from the design to production. That's the key technology what music has today. And why are you here today? So are you going to the CIOE Expo? Yes, the CIOE event is very exciting for us as well because the waveguides is important. But the other piece to make a piece of glasses is the entire optical system which combines the projector and the wave. The projector is another piece. Today we can see a lot of projector company, small from the, the turn of size, from micro LED, LCOS, DLP, laser beam scanning. They are all our partners. They are working great. They all fit in different use cases. Our goal is working with them, enable them. Enable them means enable this market because with the complete optical module combining with the projector and waveguide, then the next step is the making the piece of the glasses. So that's why I'm here today to meet with our partner and then to enable them, make sure their projector working well with our waveguides. And then if the customer, okay, hey, I want a different style of waveguides, different style of glasses. Can you guys make it work? Yes, we can make it work together. I hope you have a great show at CIOE and I hope it keeps growing, right? And helps all the companies to build new partnerships. Yes, sounds good. Thank you, Norman, for having this opportunity and, and, and bring up this um, ecosystem. That's a very important role. So trying to navigate. So just started, right? So at the moment, everyone is already here or will be here very soon. This is Net plus AR. We're from uh, Net Plus and uh, we mainly do uh, AR VR optical modules. This is a, a free form uh, optical mm. and it has uh, a 38 degree FOV. And this is the one that's in the ASUS classes, right? Yes. 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 And I've seen new products with this as well uh, from Guton. The clarity, right, is very good. So yeah. it lets more light through, it's yeah. more efficient. Yes. The only, I want to say, reason why this isn't in all the bird bath glasses now and replace it, maybe the field of view. Uh, well, maybe we can also reach that level. We may, we may, we, we may design an optical uh, module with smaller, a smaller eye box or a smaller eye relief with, high, with larger FOV. What do you think the next generation of OLED could be? I think they will have a higher brightness and a higher uh, resolution, fix, uh, resolution mm. yeah, pixel density. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, because OLED, uh, OLED can be used not only uh, in this freeform optics, but also it can be used in uh, WebGuide optical engine. Mm. So yeah, this product uses a uh, um, micro OLED here. It is for 1D, uh, one-dimensional uh, waveguide. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, as we all know, uh, the waveguide has a very low uh, like, uh, German, like, uh, effic efficiency. The waveguide is uh, actually the, the uh, traditional one, but the optical engine uses preform. Ah, optical. I see. Mm -hmm. So it will have its uh, uh, it will play its role uh, in a uh, period of time, I yeah. think. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's full color, it has a three, uh, a 30 degree FOV, and uh, it's small, it can be made into uh, ordinary glass. Like, mm. like that. How is CIOE going for you? CIOE is always the biggest event for, uh, for us to attend every year. So, yeah. So and you meet a lot of partners here? <laughs> yeah, a lot of partners, a lot of like customers, and it's like a, a reu reunion for the whole industry. Hey, you're a visitor at CIOE, right? Yes. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Jie Chu. 
uh, you can call me Chu Chu, like the train. Chu Chu. Uh, my company don't laugh. <laughs> my company uh, is Ningxi AR. Yeah. Uh, we are focused focus in geometric waveguide, reflective waveguide. And we are about to announce a new product at the end of September. So uh, it's a, a two-dimensional dim geometric waveguide. Uh, I'm very looking forward to see it and let everyone of us to see it. Awesome. So what were you looking for at CIOE? Uh, here I'm trying to see uh, some maybe competitors, yeah. <laughs> competitors uh, products and uh, see some clients products and uh, uh, like a micro screen, micro screen products yeah. uh, and mostly important to uh, connect with my old friends from the industry uh, to uh, review what's happening in this year and past year. Yeah, so how did you like it? Yeah, I like it very well. Um, but I today is my first day to hang around because last two days I was busy with clients seeing our new product. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. I just met you guys here. Who are you? Please introduce yourself. So we're we're first time uh, expo attendees. We've uh, never been here, never been to Shenzhen before. Uh, we came on your recommendation, by the way. <laughs> uh, awesome. We are a human first corporation. We are. Um, in the healthcare AI space, focused around task automation. Um, and we are kind of in the market looking to understand the space of uh, smart glasses, AI glasses, as, as part of our larger system. And so we're yeah. looking for uh, a little bit more of a B2B solution for AR, not consumer grade glasses, but more business grade. So we're looking to ODMs and OEMs of smart glasses to perhaps help us with our journey. We've, we've spoken to at least three, more like six of them, uh, with kind of long, detailed conversations, a lot of one-on-ones. It takes an expo like this to realize what's possible, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You don't know before you come to a place like this. Right, you don't know what you don't know. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, anything else you still want to explore here? Well, this is going to be what we're going to, after the expo's over, we're here for several more days. Uh, yeah. We kind of want to go to the shops and stores and see what you could buy today. What yeah. are, because it, you know, we're coming from the United States. Uh, yeah. The availability of smart glasses is limited to two or three brands, and most of them are prototypes. And yeah. here in China, there's quite a few that are maybe already out on the market. Hey, nice to meet you. Who are you? Yeah, my name is Leo, and I'm uh, the uh, Augmented Reality Association's uh, co-founder. And so, I mean, like, you know, association there was about like 600 membership, and uh, and that's all including about like the. Uh, uh, VR, AI, and uh, AI classes. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you do at the association? Because uh, I mean, like we linking the uh, groups uh, for the member to uh, help them to find a uh, place to co-working place and uh, help them to find the uh, capitals and help them to link with the uh, government as well. What do you think about this year's CIOE? All right, CIOE. I mean, like the first time I come to CIOE was. Uh, 1999 is the first Whoa. year uh, when CIOE did. It's only I mean, uh, they uh, having about like 8,000 square meters. Uh, yesterday is about like uh, 70,000 people in one day to attend in these uh, exhibitions. And and uh, yesterday uh, also there was about like 70,000. So in total, three days is more than I think it's more than like. Uh, 200,000 people is going to attend in this exhibition. So uh, it's a very crowded, uh, crowded and a very uh, popular exhibition. Thanks so much for your work. Anyway, thanks. Have a nice day.